hello everyone my name is arohi and welcome to my channel so guys in my today's video i'll show you how you can perform instance segmentation on a custom data set using yolo 11 so first thing is data set let me show you the custom data set which i'm going to use for my today's class so here is the data set this is the roboflow universe here i'm using this brain tumor data set and this data set have 834 images out of which 583 images were in the training set and 123 images are there in the validation set and 128 images are there in the test set so these kind of images are here and in this tutorial we are going to segment the area of the brain where tumor is so here like this area is the tumor in this image this area is the tumor so we are going to segment the tumor using uh, this yolo 11 today so i have given the link of this data set in description section you can get this um, uh, data set from there and to download this data set you can click on this download data set and when you'll click on this download data set you have to select this one this will give you a zip folder in your downloads folder so let's click on this and then done and here you'll see that the download is started now once this get download let's open the downloads folder so this is what you'll see in your downloads folder just unzip this file extract files okay and this is the folder now let's open it and see see here you'll see the three folders train validation and test and in each folder you'll see images and labels in the images folder you'll see all the images and in the labels folder you'll see their corresponding text annotations and these annotations are in text format because yolo model accepts the annotations in the txt format and guys if you'll open any annotation file you'll see this kind of data see here this first record first zero means this is the class index and then we have these kind of values so so these values these two value means one point and these two values mean the next point so guys what i have done is i have a separate video on this topic like how to prepare your custom data set for instant segmentation if you if you don't want to use this ready-made data set and if you want to try it yourself if you want to prepare your data set yourself from the scratch then i have a separate video on it let me show you that video so here so on this channel so guys i've started another channel code with arohi hindi in this um, channel i'm posting videos in hindi and here you will see this video instant segmentation data set preparation so this is the video here i have shown step by step how to prepare your data set for instant segmentation problems and how to convert that data set into the yolo format so you can check it over here and guys one more thing on this channel i am posting videos from the very basics on ai and data science field so if you guys uh, want me to request any topic and so you can visit this channel and over there you can post your comments and let me know on what all topics you want me to make videos on so i'll cover those topics on this channel code with arohi hindi okay and guys um, also please subscribe the channel now let's go back to the folder where we are working here okay so in the labels folder you'll see the labels and in images folder you'll see the images and in the valid folder also you'll see the images and labels okay and same way in the test folder also you'll see the images and labels now we have this uh, data set just copy this data set from here and then let's just go to the drive here in e drive i have a folder with the name of yolo 11 okay in this folder i have created a separate environment and in this separate environment i'm working and guys if you don't know how to create a separate environment then i have given a link of a video which explains step by step how to create a separate environment in python check that video and after that you can create a separate environment and once you have a separate environment you just need to activate the environment for that open command prompt and then go to the drive where your code is so my code is in e drive so i have entered in e drive and in e drive i have yolo 11 folder now i'll enter in that folder right now inside that folder i have the environment this environment now i want to activate it so write the environment name this is the environment name then write scripts and then 
activate so this is how you activate the environment now our environment is ready so uh, if you want to see the different versions i'm using over here let me show you all those things one by one so for this tutorial the python version i'm using is this and then let me show you the ultralytics version pip show ultralytics so this is my ultralytics version so now let's check the torch version so because this ultralytics uh, module uh, works on pytorch only all the models this yolo model work on pytorch we'll check the pytorch version and we'll see if our pytorch is compiled with cuda and if, compiled with cuda means that uh, whether it is pytorch is using gpu or not okay so for that write python enter and then here write import torch here write torch dot underscore underscore version and then underscore underscore enter so the pytorch version i'm using is 2.4.1 and it is compiled with cuda 12.1 so with this command you can get the name of the gpu so for this tutorial the gpu i'm using is this now these are the versions which i'm using now let's open jupyter notebook and train our algorithm so for that you will write jupyter notebook and hit enter so now this folder custom instance segmentation i'm working i have created this separate folder for instance segmentation work so i'm opening this folder and here i'm going to paste the data set which we have downloaded from roboflow so where is that data set here this is the data set just copy this folder from here and then we'll go in this custom instance segmentation and we will paste this data set over here once you paste the data set let's rename it brain tumor so this is my data set now and then if you will open it here you will see a data.yaml file this file is very important all the yolo models need this data.yaml file this data.yaml file tells our algorithm where our data set is where the training images are where validation images are and where test images are and how many classes are there and what are the name of those classes all these things uh, you know our algorithm get the detail of all these things through this data.yaml only so in our case here you have to provide the proper path of your training validation and test images so in my case this is the path let me show you so this is the folder brain tumor and inside that this is the data data dot yml file so where your data dot yml file is from there here is the train and here is the valid folder so that's why i have made the changes over here because we are already in data.yml file and uh, outside the data.yml file you will find that this find this train valid and test folder so for my today class we are working on single class only which is tumor if you have more classes here you will write the number of the classes and here by separating with the com commas you will write the other name of your classes okay so this is a data.yml file it is ready now we can train the model so to train the model let's go back here here so this is the uh, ultralytics official github repo and see these are the different tasks we can perform with this uh, ultralytics yolo 11 so today we are doing this task segment so if you'll scroll down here you'll see the segmentation section so you'll see that the yolo 11 model and uh, it is trained on coco data set for segmentation pre-trained model is trained on coco data set for segmentation which have 80 classes so for our today's class what we want is we want to train the model on brain tumor data set now we'll go to this custom instance segmentation folder because we are going to work inside this folder only and this is our data set so here we are going to create a jupyter notebook you will click on new for that and click on python 3 and this will be opened like this now you'll paste this code from here okay this part okay just copy it from here and paste it here now guys here here you will change it to this 
what we are doing is first we are loading the yolo 11 pre-trained model segmentation model we are not going to train our model from scratch we will take this segmentation model and then we will fine tune this model on our custom data set and using model dot train will train the model and here you have to provide the path of the data dot yaml file where our data dot yaml file is you can find see this is our Jupyter notebook and here we have a brain tumor folder inside it we have our data dot yaml file so we have to give the path so let's just copy the path from here entire path and we will paste that path over here and then like this here the name of our file is data and just put two slashes otherwise you will get an error okay and i want to train this model for let's say 10 epochs and device cpu if you want to uh, train your model on cpu then you'll write like this but if you want to train it on gpu then you'll write like this device zero means single gpu i want to train it on that so now sh shift enter so training will start when training will start you will see that over here you will see the runs folder see here is a runs folder inside this runs folder you will see a segment folder and then a train folder inside this folder you will uh, you know have everything which is related to the training okay now let me open that code again see here training has started so first it is downloading this model yolo 11 n segmentation model now this model is pre-trained model will be downloaded in your working directory after that here you will see that for this tutorial this is the ultra latex version this is the python version this is the torch version and gpu is getting used and now if you'll scroll down here you will see that it is uh, scanning our training image uh, labels first then it is scanning the validation labels and how it is scanning these things because we have provided the path of data.yml so from that path it will automatically pick everything which is required to train or validate the model and now if you will go back to the folder here see you will see that weights folder is created over here this weights folder will have all the training weights your best weight the last weight and here you will get the weight file on the um, using which we will perform the testing of for this uh, brain tumor segmentation okay so now training has started let's see see starting training so training has started so it will take time to train the model because we are working on around 800 images so training will take some time see here the epoch has started the first epoch see So it is taking very less memory of uh, gpu 3 gb only and here it is taking 2.87 gb so this training and here you will see that the map value when the threshold value is 50 map value is this and when the threshold value is between 50 to 95 at that time the map value is this on the third epoch and the sixth epoch on fifth epoch see the map value improved now say like this here the map value on the sixth epoch the map value when the threshold value is 50 uh, map value is improved to 94 which is quite good right and over here also the map value when the threshold value is between 50 to 95 over here the map value is 67 so like this training is going on eighth epoch ninth epoch and tenth epoch so show more results so training is completed now the training model and everything is saved at this location runs segment and train let's open that folder so we are here see runs segment and train folder and see here you'll see this is the training batch zero these are the training batch one so, so this is the segmented area right now let's see how our model predicted so this is the validation data okay let's zoom it first i'm showing you here see validation batch zero prediction so this is what our model predicted now let me show you what are the actual annotations 
so this is the actual annotation validation batch zero actual labels which we have provided to the model right so see how tumor is getting detected and here we don't have any confidence score because this is this is the image this image is created from that validation data which we have in our valid folder and now i'm going to show you the next image here so this is the prediction by our model and here see our model is 80 percent sure that this is a tumor and our model is 90 percent sure over here that this is a tumor so we just trained our model for a uh, 10 epochs and we are getting quite good results on that and if you want to see the map value then you can see those map values over here see here you can see the map value right when the map is 50 at that time what is our graph and when the map value is between 50 to 95 at that time what kind of values we are getting and let's open the weights folder inside the waste folder see you get best.pt and last.pt so we will use this best.pt to make predictions now okay so now where is it it is in runs segment train weights and it is over here right go back to the code here we will write a script to test the model now how to test the model so for that also just copy this one from here now i'm showing you how to test the model first you'll provide the path of the model over here right model equal to and then you'll write yolo and in the parenthesis single quotes provide the path of the model so it is in runs segment train and inside train we have weights folder and weights folder and inside weights we have best.pt folder now we will provide the image over here on which we want to perform the testing so for that so for that let's just create one folder over here okay then name it test images and inside we will put some images so i have pasted these three images on in this folder test images now let's see and these are jpg images so let's go back to the code and here you will write the path of the folder first test images slash one dot jpg dot show means it will show you the output this will okay so what's the error weights and best now it will work see here the tumor is detected and our model is 94 percent confident so guys this is how you test the test on image and you show the results but if you want to uh, save this image the output image with the detection if you want to save it so for that you will write save equals to true over here and it will get saved right if you want to see where it is saved then you can see see under runs segment and in predict folder it is saved now we can open that folder let's go to the runs segment predict folder and here is that output image saved okay now let's say instead of single image you want to perform the testing on all the images at once so for that you will do just copy this code from here here we'll perform it instead of giving the path of the exact image you just write like this the folder path and let's just remove this show true now our result is saved in predict to folder let's go to the folder runs segment predict to and here you will see all the three images see this is the first image this is the second image and this is the third image so our model did quite well on these images um, for this instant segmentation task so guys this is how you can perform instant segmentation and i've given the link of this code in description section you can get this code and guys as i've told you earlier also if you want to learn how to prepare this data set step by step then you can check the video uh, which is on my other channel code with aruhi hindi channel over there i have mentioned step by step how to create this data set yourself from the very beginning so i hope this video is helpful and guys if you like my content please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching